Hi team and welcome back to Elite Rugby SNC YouTube page. My name is Kieran and today we're going to be doing another gym review video. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that alert button as well so you know that when we upload a new um, video, you can watch it straight away. You don't have to wait. So today we're going to be reviewing the All Blacks hitting the gym in Tokyo, you know, and a bit of context around this. I don't know what their training goals are. You know, all I'm just seeing is what they're doing in the gym. I'm going to be commenting on that, see if they do a good job, see if I can comment on anything, see if I can find something that they can improve on as well. But again, we don't know the context and we're just watching this video for fun and seeing what they do well and what they don't do so well. So let's get straight into it, team. Alrighty, so stopping the video just there, first off the bat, we saw some weighted chin-ups. This is an awesome exercise. And there's some research out there that if you're really, really good at chin-ups, you're more likely gonna have a higher tackle successful rate out there on the field as well. So they did a research on just athletes who are really good tacklers and said, hey, you're actually really good at chin-ups as well. And they can put some weight to the body and go do that in the gym. So if you're really, really good at chin-ups, make sure that you add weight to it and we can progressively overload you and challenge you in there, in, in the gym, doing that movement. If you're a bigger, a bigger guy like myself and do struggle with chin-ups, sometimes adding weight doesn't make it any easy. You know, it makes it a bit harder for us. So if you do struggle with your chin-ups, make sure you add a band to it. So it takes away some of that re resistance or you do your negative chin-ups. That's where you jump up all the way to the top and slowly lower yourself down as well. And I guarantee that to you, after around four to five weeks, you'll be able to do at least two chin-ups if you've done, you know, doing chin-ups three times a week, doing some negatives, you'll get there. Trust the process. We saw some dumbbell curl presses. This is an awesome exercise to build up that shoulder, getting some accessory work into those biceps and forearms. And it's just a really underutilized movement in the gym as well. I love doing this movement for all my athletes and we've got to build these boulders, you know, these shoulders over here, they take a lot of contact. So you've got to make sure they're nice and strong and robust. And this is a movement I love prescribing. So we saw some barbell back squats, moving a hundred kgs so easily on that bar. It was smooth peanut butter, no chunks in that form at all. And you just love to see it when athletes at the elite level are, are doing these movements and they're doing these movements really, really well so they can maximize their time in the gym. So they can, they can go out in the field and maximize their time out in the field as well. And when the big boys were, were squatting, it looked good. It looks really, really good. And I love to see that. Another area that again, always catches our eyes when we're watching these videos is the, the boys were practicing their skills in the gym. You know, the rugby balls are in there practicing the halfback skills, flick passes. If you're doing some, some form of um, skill work in the gym in between sets, do it. It's only going to make you a better rugby athlete. It's only going to make you better at your position as well. So I highly recommend you have a couple of footies in there. Obviously be safe. Don't throw it around right next to someone who's lifting heavy and can cause an accident. Make sure that you're pretty smart about it and do it away from the main group who's lifting. And then we, we, we stopped it right there when Angus was doing some uh, curdle presses as well. Do curdle presses. Awesome movement. Build those shoulders up. So let's get back into a team and see what else this video has in store for us.
great team. So we saw some more back squats there. Offer, ooh, you know, I think it was like 180, 190 kilos on that bar. And a, like I said before, smooth peanut butter right there. It was looking so good, you know, from top to bottom. It was just such, such great form. And you can tell he's been doing this for quite a while, you know, and he, he, he has a really good training history and he looks like he's just really honed his craft you know he's put a lot of practice a lot of time and effort into it and it's really paying off and he's maximizing his time in the gym the one thing i I'm sorry not the one thing another thing i like to see is how he braces he takes that deep breath in holding that abdominal pressure going down and then powering on the way up that abdominal pressure is key to you lifting more so make sure that you know how to brace utilize it when you're lifting some heavy weights and don't forget to do it you know and Offer, he's just giving 100% to every rep and performs it to the standard required. So we saw some barbell bench press. One of my pet peeves with the bench press is when your hips come up off the bench. I want you to drive everything into the ground to push the bar up with intent, you know? And when you do lift those hips up, I feel like you can't maximize that pressure into the ground, into the bench. And you're also not maximizing that abdominal pressure and bracing you know you, you're moving around a bit and we don't want that we want the whole body to stay locked in and strong so the only thing movement moving is that upper body to punch that bar up to the sky we saw some more curl depressors remember build those boulders use that exercise you're going to hear me say it dumbbell curl press underrated exercise go do it and then off up again lifting more weight and keeping the same stand it really really seems like if it's 190 kilos to 20 kilos, he's lifting with the same standard, the same technique, the same pressure and bracing technique, and I love to see it. These guys are at the elite level of what they do. They're the best athletes of what they do, and they're keeping the standards in the gym. Remember that, team. All right, let's get back into it and watch this last little part of the video. team so we saw some barbell high pull this is a great exercise for developing power and performing the movement without the catch so the catch is the part where we catch it in the front rack position here on our shoulders but some athletes they might have a bit of shoulder pain you know or a history of shoulder injuries or they have some sort of wrist injury as well which i have seen in the past or they just have really poor mobility and flexibility in, in getting into that position so the barbell high pull is a great exercise where you don't have to catch the bar but we can still progressively overload the movement. Sorry for that little burp. And it's, it's just a great way to keep developing power. But if you do struggle with the front rack position, you still need to learn how to do it because if you want to be able to front squat or even, you know, chin up, you know, it's very similar to a chin up movement as well. We need to address that area. And if it is a mobility issue, let's address that chest, you know, trigger point it, or if it's something in the posterior part of the shoulder, let's address with the trap or the lat, you know, let's address that area and be able to hold that front rack position because it's a really good sign from a coaching standpoint if you've got good shoulder health. And we want to have good shoulder health as well when doing these movements. One thing you do see wrong or a common fault in this movement or doing any type of power cleans or snatches, people don't jump, you know, you need to jump and get that bar up with max intent and get it off the ground eye and then catch it. 
you know one thing i see is yeah people just come up onto their toes but they don't actually jump it's a jumping movement that that's what makes it our power movement we're jumping off the ground so make sure that you jump go go over to um any any video when you're watching um, olympic lifters they're jumping they get clear separation from the ground when they are getting to that full extension and it allows us to really drive and get those hips fully activated so make sure that you jump doing all our power cleans or high clean uh high pull movements as well um we did see an athlete catching the bar which then turns it into a power clean you know so you got to be able to catch the bar that's it's just a, a standard that i like to have and a lot of do, other FC coaches do have it and you got to see tyro lomax there and he was easily lifting 90 kegs like it was nothing you know and and he's been doing this for a while and i've had the opportunity to um train with tyrell in the past because we were teammates if you can believe it and he was doing the same stuff way back when he was 17, 18, you know, he was just doing it really, really well. And it's just great to see him continue these lifting standards all the way through his professional rugby career. So it doesn't matter what the movement is team, make sure that you keep the standard and continually learning. It's going to pay off, you know, and if you do make that elite level, it's expected of you to be able to do these movements and do them really, really well. So that's all the video just there team i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought as well was there anything that i missed or was too harsh on or didn't see you know drop the comments below but make sure that you like subscribe share this video as well make sure you go over to our youtube uh sorry not our youtube go and talk about instagram page you know we've got our spot uh, on spotify for our podcast as well and team we've got a lot of content out there make sure that you go you know look at it Hopefully you learned something and let us know if you want to see a certain type of content as well. But I really appreciate you taking time out to watch this video and I'll catch you on the next video team. See ya.